This is a HeadGum Podcast. Welcome back to America. Jake and Amir hath returned from their triumphant <laughs> tour of the world. Uh, Jake's in a jail in London right now. USA. <laughs> USA. No, we are back. We're back and we're recording this ad uh, after our, 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 our tour, our trip, our tour abroad. Our vacation abroad? Yeah, and I think we dominated. We took over the European nations of Ireland yeah. and London. Uh huh. Because London's not a nation, right? It's right. the United Kingdom. So it was all That's like- one of the things that I said on stage <laughs> and it played really great. Uh, but now that we're back, boy, do I uh, need to sleep, and what better way to do it? than on a Casper mattress. That's what's up. Casper is the most comfy, comfy mattress in the world. I sleep on one. Been doing it for a long time now, actually. And? And I couldn't recommend it more. I will never have another mattress than Casper. Casper is basically this new mattress company, uh, and they make their mattresses in-house with a team of engineers that have spent thousands of hours developing their mattress. It combines a springy latex and a supportive memory foam for a sleep surface that's just perfect, and it's not expensive either. Yeah, you know, if you guys if you guys have ever shopped for a mattress before, you know you're dropping like fifteen hundred dollars on that on that, on a mattress. You're trying really hard to find something that's like good quality because you spend a lot of time sleeping in it. But you can get a less expensive mattress that is still very dope. That's right. Casper mattresses cost just five hundred dollars for a twin size, seven fifty for full, eight fifty for a queen, and nine fifty for a king. And I am a king. Okay, <laughs> but you you just sleep on a full king. though. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a full on <laughs> king, motherfucker. Uh, and it's convenient. It's completely risk free. Uh, if you don't like it within a hundred nights, you get a free return. They'll also deliver it to you in a box, and the mattress comes out of that. It blooms out of this box. Uh, and you don't have to worry about getting the mattress over to your house. Quite a beautiful thing. It comes. It looks almost like the size of a mini fridge, and then it unfurls into a beautiful blossoming flower of a mattress. Uh, and if you want some extra sauce from us, if you go to uh, casper.com slash if I were you, you get $50 off their mattress. That's casper.com slash if I were you. And I should also say that free shipping and return in the U.S. and Canada. Yeah, you should check out their website because it's very soothing. It's a sleek looking site. Uh, so once again, thank you to casper.com slash if I were you for sponsoring this very special episode. Uh, this one is uh, our live show in Dublin uh, with special guest Ben Schwartz. Benny Schwa. Let's just get into it, folks. Things got real enjoyed by. Hey, Sam, he's wild stage, taking a mirror. Nothing can stop me, I'm up. Yeah, I'm in. What up, Dublin? Shut it, what you want? I got what you need. Me. Shut it, what you want? Oh, bad dance. So white, so white. Oh, yeah. All right. How's it going, everybody? I like my foot. Yeah. Oh, my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. That's our time. <laughs> now I'm okay. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, for those of you who don't, who doesn't know who we are? Who's here? And they're like, why are we here? Why are we in a tent? Everybody knows? Okay, great. Thank God. A lot <laughs> of inside jokes here. <laughs> okay, so we're good to start. Uh, God, you know what people say to me a lot? And let me know if you agree. That you're a, a limp dick loser, uh, a, a, a timid little Jew coward boy, uh, um, a weak, uh, um, oh, a, a frail wristed miser. Yeah, I was gonna, s- <laughs> I was gonna be like they comp- <laughs> they compliment my glasses. Oh, no, they are really. That's one of my favorite things about you. <laughs> All the other Have stuff you heard is the, also the limp dick Jew cock thing before. Is Why? that? What- yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I started it, but I feel like everybody was kind of on board. <laughs> yeah. uh, they say when we, when we come on stage or when I talk to them uh, in a foreign country, they say, you sound a lot more American in real life. Do you guys get that vibe right now? Do we sound American? <laughs> Which is so odd because we're British on the podcast. Yeah. For it to come out. How many Peters in the crowd right now? Raise your hand, please. Raise your hand to Peter or Thomas. Do you Anybody? Guys- just one really Peter? Peter? 
Peter. 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 Who thinks that we're nailing a uh, an Irish accent? Who thinks? Oh. One Peter. Oh, one oh, Peter. Yes, you are. Two Peters. <laughs> I taught your father, Peter. <laughs> and your mother, Peter. Sorry, who she is went this? Peter, 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 this is, Peter. So this is Peter's teacher. Peter's teacher. <laughs> Peter's father was a tater. Peter, Peter's, Peter's father grandfather. Was a potato. Peter's grand. Peter's grandfather was a a faded potato. A faded potato. <laughs> yeah, from Decatur. From he was from uh, Decatur, Decatur, Georgia. Decatur. Yeah. yeah. They moved to. Later, they later moved. They later moved to from, Decatur, Decatur, from Decatur, from Decatur to North Decatur, to North Decatur, <laughs> on a potato. <laughs> they drove. They drove a potato. On a potato. It's amazing, Peter. What a story you have. You should be out here. <laughs> God. Wow. From start to finish, I love that story. <laughs> Jake, uh, yeah. Jake and I have been walking around Dublin just reading signs in our Irish accents. Yeah, and we have, we have not made any friends. Yeah. yeah. It made me think, is, are there any Irish people walking around America like trying to talk like cowboys or dead Indians? Because or... we actually take offense to that. Yeah, that's actually... It's like, it's, we can make fun of yeah. our moms, but you can't. Mm. So, like, we can make and fun actually, of you. And actually, you shouldn't make fun of my mom. <laughs> You made fun of my mother? <laughs> no, I was just... What did you say about her? I didn't say anything What the about fuck? Are you, what, are you, what could you possibly say about my, Your mother's a whore. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. But as long as we're just... attacking every... My mom's a saint. Yours is a... Uh, she's a gutter woman. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. What else? Um, Jesus. Who here's from out of town? <laughs> Us, I guess. <laughs> your mother is a serpent tongue <laughs> slut. <laughs> She's a snake that whores herself out. A fellating snake. Oh, not everybody here. Can you imagine getting a blowjob from a snake? You could really get it deep throated. Yeah, of course. Even a little garter. Oh, yeah, you could. Because it can unhinge its jaw Uh and swallow you whole. That's the uncensored version of the Bible, actually. Yeah. Adam skull fucked the serpent. (laughs) And God was like, Was this Eve's idea? (laughs) Yes, God. (laughs) I'm going to punish Eve. All right, dude. I, I thought it was fucked up, too. Because the snake is blowing you. But it was Eve's 100% idea. 100% Eve. Honestly, kick us both out. Are you sure? All right. You're so noble, Adam. Yeah, Adam's a- God is naive. <laughs> and that's what this show's about. Because, no, lock the, the door. The naivete. Smoke. <laughs> Oh shit! There's another exit. All right, you guys can use that one. Uh, this is. Do you guys know that this is our first time ever in Dublin? Not just doing comedy; it's our first time ever in Ireland. That's right. Uh, is there anything that we should? Is there anything that we should know? Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, that guy was just a heckler. He wasn't listening to our. Question. <laughs> he just hates yeah, our podcast. He just hates us. He didn't like the skull fucking yeah. snake bit. <laughs> That's no. honestly fair. Uh, yeah. Somebody was like, what have you done in Ireland so far? Because we've been here for like two, three days. And we haven't really done much. We walked around. Our goal was to sort of blend in like we were locals. So we've been just depressed in our apartment for the last (laughs) two days. Yeah, I've grown pale and I have a pretty bad diet. (laughs) Yeah. I've been eating mainly carrots and potatoes, <laughs> a pint no, of Peter. Killian's Irish Red, and most you guys of all... Do you have Killian's Irish Red? Do you have Killian's We beer? stole your voice you and sold Killian's the beer. Is? Killian's Irish Red is a very popular <laughs> Irish beer in America. Do you guys know Killian? He's doing very well in the States. Killian's making a Killian overseas. Y'all should join him. You're the only Irish person that ever said (laughs) y'all. Oh, no, I'm from Texas. (laughs) What? (laughs) Yes. Oh, yes, Peter. I hate Mexicans down there. (laughs) Yes, Peter. Can't get enough. (laughs) Of hating Mexicans. This is Trump country. Yeah, you guys like Donald Trump here? (laughs) (laughs) Woo! (laughs) Good. A tent full of Cruz supporters. (laughs) Finally. I can get behind y'all. So hard to find a Kasich fan in Dublin, but here we are. So should we tell everybody about the podcast? Yeah, or? hold on one second. What's the matter? Oh, you want to have a little... 
little mustering up the courage. Yeah, because it's stronger here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but whiskey is an American creation. Oh, what? good man. Good. Oh, he's going to throw up. Here it comes. And, and a potato. Thank you so much. A full potato. Uh, I mean, you guys are familiar. This is, this, is, this is an advice podcast. It's a show. You download. You put it on your phone. The way it works is people from all around the globe, not just Ireland. It's mostly well, New York and Massachusetts. Yeah. So. <laughs> will write us in. They're confused. They're scared. They're seeking our wisdom, our guidance. Why do they find it in us? I don't know. I'm just a 33-year-old. What'd you call me? Timid, limp dick, Jewcock? Yeah, yeah. Frail miser. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this is my friend over here, Jake. And uh, I'm strong. The show. <laughs> we call him Strong Jake. It's a bad nickname. But also timid. Um, it's a show we record in our... It used to be in our house. Now we have a little office studio situation, which is pretty fly. Yeah, it's actually really, really chill. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes we record intense. Sometimes we record intensely. Sometimes we record uh, with 200 of our closest friends all crowded around the stage. So thank you guys so much for coming to the show. Thank you for being here. And uh, should we, should Shall we, we have a seat? start answering questions? Yes. We might as well. I mean, right. we're only here. For so long. <laughs> this is it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh now I can see these people. Sturdy chair. Yeah. <laughs> you guys oh, do yeah, good. Look at this front row right here. Hey, all these handsome people. <laughs> You're the dude that gave me the... Uh, Head. The, uh, the, the <laughs> <laughs> you blew me outside, yeah. right? <laughs> Sir, you blew me away. With yeah, your, dude, stand up. With your throat. Come on, everybody wants to know you. <laughs> which dude blew me outside. Yeah. And of course, it's the guy that looks like me. You, uh. Because you have some fucking fetish. You gave me mead. Do you guys know what mead is? It's what uh, you guys I... give to Americans to prank them, right? It's a <laughs> bottle full of your own pee pee. But the silly Americans drink it up like, like a pint a, of the Killian's, Killian's Irish Red. <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, is there an Irish fight song that you guys all know? We well, don't like, fight, we uh, fight. Like a soccer song? Are there any, is there a Gaelic song that everybody knows? A chant of sorts? A shanty chanty? <laughs> what did he say? Wait, what did you say? That's a fucking leprechaun, dude! What? That's what Get I'm him. telling you about! He's got fucking gold, bro! <laughs> so, Where's your rainbow, bitch? <laughs> Where's your rainbow, bitch, indeed? Do you guys know what he said, or is it... What is it? Oh, yeah. The leprechaun? Yeah. I don't know if he's calling us that. Or... I'm a leprechaun? <laughs> Dude. You are I wearing think it's giant... a compliment. <laughs> you are wearing giant green Wait, shoes. Uh, what, does everyone know what he actually said? Yeah. What oh, was okay. It? So what is it? Run us through the, the Gaelic... <laughs> oh, okay. You got God, that? you guys are passionate. <laughs> Do you know what he said? Yeah. Will you say it into this microphone? Wow, that guy's really strong. Jesus oh my Christ! God. Get on Damn. stage! Holy shit! Christ! Oh, dude is buff! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. dude! Ow. Dude, you're fucking, you're puffed out, man! <laughs> I love it! It's the milk. Is it the, yeah, it's all the milk! Milk? You're on milk diet? <laughs> Dave, oh my God, I can see through him, he is translucent. Oh. Alright, so will you say what uh, that dude said? Uh, what Karagum Dolgadi on Lehereth. And onward, catacomb, doggity, on letterus. And what does it mean? Uh, can I go to the bathroom, please? Really? At least it's polite. All right, that's cool. Get what? out of here, you strong motherfucker. Good Lord. Jesus Oh, Christ. you broke through the... <laughs> <laughs> fucking superhero pose. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Just three strong dudes on stage together. I know. It's rare to meet a fan that has a body like ours. Yeah. Really One cool. that's buff and cool as I. Yeah. Is your dick all so thick, man? You know it. <laughs> I do know it. You're right. 
I saw that guy doing dick curls. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He was uh, 20 kilograms. Yo, very good. Thank you. 44 pounds American. Uh, all right. These are real emails from real people. I'm going to give them fake, ideally Gaelic names to preserve their anonymity. Uh, the first one was written by a dude. Does anyone have a dude's name? <laughs> What do you hear? I heard Crandis. This. Watch. <laughs> My penis is going to be talking later. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to find a little balance right here. Okay. Yeah, do your thing. Read the email. <clears throat> All right. It was Crandis. Crandis writes I've been dating this chick from Tinder for about five months now. Huh? Nice, dude. Yes, yeah. dude. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Hey, dude. After about three months, one day she gave me the keys to her apartment for helping her out with a little chore. And in this process, I found a desk in her apartment where she keeps her ex-boyfriend's pics. I'm talking about framed photographs, albums, photo booth strips, etc., etc. I also found two flash drives in that desk. Me being a 25-year-old insecure dweeb... I popped them in my laptop to see what's inside. Inside, I found her ex's dick pics, vacation pics, videos of her with other dudes kissing, hugging, making memories. <laughs> the worst thing you can make. <laughs> this turns into a Kodak ad. I know it was my... Remember him? <laughs> I know. If you're making memories, why take the photo? That's his... Anger. All right. I know it was my fault to dig into her personal stuff. I had no right to at all. But after seeing all those, I don't feel special with her anymore. Don't, ah, uh, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but the connection with her still feels deep and special. <laughs> oh. She gave me a chance. She loves me and cares for me. She showed me what it's like to be loved, which never happened before. And every time I think of those good things about her, I can't help but rethink, well, she had all that with ten other dudes before me, and it gets me depressed and feels like I could do much better. I talked about it several times with her, oh, no. and, she says, <laughs> and she says she understands my pain. I said we should break up, but she cried and begged for me to stay. Because she's never found anyone. <laughs> Did someone just hand, hand her crying? <laughs> she okay. never found anyone like me before. On one hand, I feel finally. Uh, on one hand, I feel like I finally found someone who's really cool, fun-loving, and someone who has a deep connection with me. But on the other hand, her past is a blizzard of dicks, <laughs> and she has a serious problem. <laughs> <laughs> What you do you what do you suggest I do? Love Crandis. Let's go it up for Crandis, everybody. Crandis. <laughs> Pour it out for Crandis. Crandis wants to feel special, and he's not special anymore because his lady has been with other boys in the past. I think Crandis is special. How so is he special? I think he's one of the more insecure loser assholes <laughs> that we've ever heard from on the show. Do you think that his lady friend gave him a key as a reward for a chore that he did? As a reward? I think it was to accomplish a the chore. A chore. And then after he like, did the chore. Yeah, it was like, hey, will you go uh, bring this milk, what up, strong dude, <laughs> back to my apartment? And he was like, oh, yeah, I don't want it to curdle. And then he went in and he was like, I found a desk. A desk with <laughs> memories everywhere. Your memory desk. What is this? My main problem with this girl is that she's wasting frames. She put it, be like, she's putting the framed photos in the desk. They should be removed from the frames, and then you don't have to buy new frames. There's no reason for a framed photo to be in a desk. Does that not feel like a little bit, because the desk I protects the photo. I think you're focusing photo. on the wrong part. <laughs> well, so is Crandis. <laughs> He's not thinking about the frames. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, it's weird that she has the dick pics in the flash drive. Those are secret. No. Oh, you don't think it's weird? You, you keep X pics? Well, I don't, on flash dicks? I don't specifically have a flash disc dick. Disc dick. Yeah. A dick disc. A dick of But discs. I have like... Well, it's all in the cloud now. These days. 
But there are like, you know, CDs or something of my... Yes, like, CD CDs. Potato! <laughs> <laughs> they started to applaud before you said potato. <laughs> Still counts. <laughs> Like, she just has a flash drive with lots of stuff. It's not like she specifically kept the dick pics. Yeah. By the way, if she did, that is also fine. You're, are you a fan of throwing away? Like, when do you throw away all these? You date someone, let's say, like I've dated someone for three years. We have Congrats, so man. Many... That's actually really special. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, Who's the lucky guy? It's actually Peter. Is it really? Sure. That's I didn't right. mean to deride homosexuality. I'm super happy for you guys. <laughs> the, oh, sorry I said who's the lucky guy in a sarcastic way. Yeah, I no, I to, actually really I yeah. support it. Who is the lucky guy, actually? Who, who is the lucky, for me or for you? No, for me. For Oh, for you? Yeah. Who is the lucky guy? You're the lucky guy. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck him just to, just to prove I'm not homophobic. <laughs> I'll actually, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, I will. I'll blow the dude if it meant I didn't hate gay people. Shit. I do this for the rights. <laughs> <laughs> Treat me like a snake. I'm a fucking serpent, dude. A slimy little bottom feeder. Uh, do, yeah, do you... And then I, after dating somebody for so long, I have pictures of them and us together. And it's like, it feels so weird just being like, well... Time to dump this photo album. It feels almost well, like it takes, more, this it takes more picture. effort for me to like go take a flight to New York and a train to Connecticut to go through an old box yeah. so I can dump out my girlfriend, my ex girlfriend's pictures. That's like thinking about her way more than I should. This the, is you explaining to your girlfriend who caught, baby. Who, fa <laughs> who found the box. Okay, well, I also saw the flash drives with uh, <laughs> lotion <Yeah>. and Kleenex. <laughs> it takes more effort not to jerk off to old videos of us fucking. <laughs> Uh, you know, there are a couple things in there that made me feel like he is, uh... Can I sexually see this email? You can sexually see it. <laughs> I mean, who talks like that? <laughs> Peter. Peter. He wants to be special, which yes. is sort of a funny okay. thing. All right, so here we go. Um, one second. Okay. We have all the First time First of all, he's world. mad for her, at her for making memories, which is... Kind of like a default human thing. <laughs> Did you yeah. fucking remember, dude? <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, you remember you your ex? You legit remember him. Could you picture his fucking face? <laughs> you little hoe. <laughs> you know his name, don't you? Um, here's, my other, here's my other problem. He yeah, says the that frames he could, in, the, in the desk. I know. I know. <laughs> He's thinking now that he could do much better. And he also explicitly stated up top that this is the first girl that ever made him feel loved. <laughs> yeah. He's so, a little virgin boy, and he, he refuses to find anyone who's been with somebody else before. Just to refute a couple of things. You couldn't find anybody else, because you, you are a special kind of asshole. <laughs> and <laughs> if, if she is having a problem breaking up with you, like if you tried and, you, and she started crying, then like, well, let's just show her this email. Because then she'll definitely break up with you. <laughs> and I think the world would be at a, a better place. The end. Cheers, everybody. We have a question from a lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love imagining that, that guy's wearing a suicide vest that just didn't go off. <laughs> What was the last thing you wanted everyone to hear? <laughs> I fucking go out like that, man. Guy at home later just eating cereal. <laughs> <gasps> I was four hours off. <laughs> eating a croissant. <laughs> a suicide vest. That's funny. It's actually not. Sorry. <laughs> croissant. <laughs> He was actually just ordering food. Does anybody have a female's? No, we'll use croissant. Yeah. Croissant. 
That was a really good accent, too. Are, Are you, you from French? French? No. You're not. <laughs> uh, Could have fooled me, bro. It's roughly 38 degrees Celsius in here, right? We can agree on that. Is anyone else hot as fuck? <laughs> Great. It is the, the heat of 200 people breathing a lot for an hour. We're inside of a mouth right now. But hey, I'll be in a sauna with all y'all, all my best friends from Ireland. What up? <laughs> hey, if y'all want to get naked, just say the word. Because Jay would be dying to up uh, here. I'll start with my pants so it's not illegals or nothing. <laughs> oh, it's extra illegal. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> suicide vest. That was funny. <laughs> Thanks, man. Croissant! <laughs> Come on! Croissant! <laughs> croissant! Fuck! Croissant! 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 <laughs> croissant! <laughs> it's just really hot on his body. <laughs> ah! Croissant! He's a pterodactyl. <laughs> Croissant writes, there's this little girl in my class that I sit beside. <laughs> it's, a, it's from a female. It's way less creepy than a female. Uh, on the surface, she seems like a nice gal. Everyone likes her. She's very polite and kind. However, I sit beside her every day, and I know she's an awful person. She scowls at any jokes about Christianity. When people play rap music with swearing in it or a movie with drugs, nudity, or violence, she starts saying that the music or film is bad even though it's widely reg regarded as a masterpiece. She supports Donald Trump and has no problems with... America Ted first! <laughs> and has no problems with Ted Cruz. She refused to watch a film because there was a transsexual in it and told me that she didn't want Disney to make a film that deals with homosexuality. The problem is, I'm the only one that knows any of this, because I sit beside her. How can I out her true colors to the rest of the class? Love, croissant. Let's go up for croissant. croissant. I, uh, I did not see it going there. Yeah, she wants to know how to expose... How to write an expose that deals with this lady that, once again, she sits besides... Yeah. Well, is it morally correct to expose a bigot for being a bigot? Oh, whoever the fuck opened that door, leave it that way. Oh my God, that breeze is beautiful. Actually, we can take. Can these you mics guys feel off. that? Yeah. Oh, Close the door. <laughs> Comedy should be in a sweaty hot box. We should want to laugh our way out. Ugh. Just eating uh. a baked potato. <laughs> Live. Um, she wants to. He's right to ask well, why. <laughs> liar. Uh, why? Why does she want to expose this lady that she sits behind side? Because she wants everyone to know that this lady is a bigot. Oh, it's her job to whistle blow. Yeah. To sit. Silence is no longer an acceptable course of action. It's kind of like the hashtag Black Lives Matter movement. In what way? <laughs> Every day that, Sorry, it's just, just, every day okay. that I don't tweet that is another day that I support the opposition. That you're complicit. Well, to be fair, you haven't tweeted blue lives or all lives matter. I have a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> My account was hacked <laughs> by this girl that croissant sits beside. Um, <clears throat> well, do you think that this girl... Do you think she deserves to be exposed as a, as a Trump supporter? That's a good question. I guess if you're a bad person, it's Which, not... Let's be clear, you guys. <laughs> politics aside, anyone who supports Trump is a bad person. Yeah. <laughs> Inherently. Or just dumb. Or, yeah. Sometimes you're nice and but dumb. But you could be dumb and bad. Yeah, sometimes you could be de bad and dumb. Uh -huh. And sometimes you could be b dad and bum. <laughs> My dad is a bum. What? My dad is a bum. <laughs> My father is, is a hobo. He's a what? He's a hobo. A hobosexual. <laughs> He's a bindle. Yeah, he has a bindle and rosy cheeks. Yeah. He has rosacea. <laughs> Echinacea. <laughs> 
and he lives in the street. Anyway, uh, so how do you out someone as being bad? So, all right, so I think... First of all, what, 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 what class has so many movies about transsexuals, songs that are... <laughs> What songs that's are going on? That's, off, modern, rap that's music. the world in the modern day and the LGBTQ yeah. Thank you. society that we live in. So let's say I'm the girl that sh- croissant you sits beside. So okay. secretly we're watching, let's say, a film uh, uh, about a transgendered woman. What's the, your name? Um, if I'm croissant? Oh, I'm scone. Okay. <laughs> or as you guys call it, scone. <laughs> Wow! Oh, shit. Never oh, ever shit. been angrier. Oh shit! You guys didn't react when we said Black Lives Matter, but yeah. everyone is like, "For twi- Scone Lives Matter." <laughs> For twenty minutes, I yelled "Potato and Tater," and it was fine. So you guys say Scone, yes. and Britain says Scone. Yes. Those, and that's what? the only difference. Do you think no one says Scone? No one says Scone. A lot more people cheered when I said Britain says scone. <laughs> Only oh. London. What? I'm the queen. <laughs> A letter from the queen. London sends its regards. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Someone scone. has to make better one of these. Fuck. <laughs> All right, so I'm scone. You're <laughs> Your Dude. croissant. Dude. We're watching a movie about a transsexual woman. What movie is about a transsexual woman? Let's say Hedwig and the Angry Inch. I assume I haven't seen it. <laughs> Sounds about right. I love this movie. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I could watch this all day. I hope Disney never, never makes a film <laughs> regarding or about the topic of what I consider evil, a.k.a. Homsexuality. I'm gonna say something. Don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very well. Please don't. I won't. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy it. I confided in you. I know. Just let's enjoy the movie. We Absolutely. have a difference of opinion. Make America great again, brother. I don't. I think it's pretty good. As it were. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> I also support Cruz. How could you support both of them? <laughs> Whatever. Bitter right? rivals. <laughs> Just... Who cares? You should. <laughs> if you support one candidate, you should support the other. <laughs> okay. It's just, I'm going to miss the part where Hedwig gets <laughs> his dick chopped off. Which I think happens. I'm not secretly gay. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I'm not gay. Oh, does your hate come from a place of... No! Fear and insecurity? <laughs> and much... Croissant! <laughs> Is that what she's afraid of? Interesting. I don't know if we gave her any advice, but let's give it up for Croissant. Thank you as well to TrunkClub.com for sponsoring this episode. Gracias, Trunk Club. Nice. Way to use gracias. I was actually in Barcelona recently, so I really understood gracias, which is like sort of you saying, it's a way of like expressing your gratitude for something. Gracias. Yeah, so I'll be like, gracias, Barcelona. And then, yeah, yeah, it's like you saying, you appreciate that. (laughs) Exactly. Uh, We'll see direct (laughs) translation. Uh, It's thank you. (laughs) <laughs> right. Awesome. <laughs> uh, if you are a guy who loves shopping for clothes, but you're short on time, or just a guy who hates shopping, uh, there's an easier way, and that's Trunk Club. Honestly, if you're a guy, you know, yeah. that's fine. If you, yeah, because we, I don't mind shopping. Uh, Shopping's fine. And but, this is one way that you can shop. And it's still great, because Trunk Club makes it easy to look your best in clothes that fit you perfectly, handpicked by your own personal stylist. Uh, all with Trunk Club. Yeah, you get to try it on in the comfort of your own home, too, instead of those cramped little dressing rooms where you have to have a little plastic number. They treat you like a goddamn child. <laughs> uh, 
And it's actually really good. Just uh, if you go once, then they you talk to somebody who can personally shop for you and tell you what your brands are. So now I know what I should look for next time I go shopping. That's so they awesome. enable you to become a better shopper in the future. Mm-hmm. It's just like a good way to jumpstart you looking and dressing better. Yeah, like if you accidentally always only shop at J. Crew. Trunk clubs for you. Yeah, I was I was a Banana Republic man before Trunk Club came oh, along. We are now. If you go to trunkclub.com slash if I were you and type in your measurements, uh, you share what you like, what you dislike, and they'll give you your own personal stylist. There's no risk. They'll just pick clothes from over 80 top brands, ship it to your door. You keep what you like, and you send back what you don't. It's not just another way to shop online. There's there's an actual human stylist. Uh, and if you live in Dallas, New York, L.A., Chicago, or D.C., you can actually go to the, one of their Trunk Club clubhouses to work with your stylist in person for free. That's awesome. We should go to the one in D.C. Oh, well, we should hit up every single one, dude. Yeah. yeah. Starting with D.C. tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know. I just landed like four hours ago. I know. That's why it's perfect. Do you have your bag still? Uh, so why don't you upgrade your stuff, upgrade your wardrobe, look a little bit better. Summer's not quite over. Falls around the corner. Maybe you have a new job. Maybe you have a new uh, school. Maybe you have a new anything. Maybe you want to look better. Premium clothes, expert advice, no work. Get started today at trunkclub.com slash if I were you. What's that URL again, mofo? It's trunkclub.com slash if I were you. Say it again one more time. It's trunkclub.com slash if I were you. How about you say it again? <laughs> I'm done saying it. Say it one more time. Trunkclub.com slash if I were you. Last time. No. No more <laughs> we really, Please. really, okay, fine. Trunkclub.com slash if I were you. All right. We're thanks. back to the show. Say it one more time. Uh, more. Thanks for visiting the website, guys. Um, website? Making us look good in front of all these cool, stylish companies. Uh, let's get back to the episode. Say it. Trunkclub.com slash if I were you. One more time. No! <laughs> this is torture! Dude, one more time. <laughs> uh, Ben's about to join us. Let's do that. Oh, boy. Uh, that was fun. Yeah, thank you, guys. We shot Nature Box out of a cannon into everyone's mouth. It was amazing. <laughs> they all choked on the peanut butter nom nom. <laughs> um, there are so many funny comedians at this festival. We thought, why not bring uh, a friend of ours out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm hearing, I heard, I heard you guys say Ben a couple times, and that's, yes, I love that you want him, and he's a great friend of ours, but unfortunately, he's very, very busy, and you guys, when you chant for Ben's name, you make the other comedians who might come on the stage feel a little insecure, and this guy, I think you really are going to like him, don't boo, because this is, he's one of your own countrymen, do you understand, it's, oh, very, your countrymen, do you guys get that? He was born in the small town of Kilkenny. <laughs> he cut his teeth doing stand-up comedy right here in Dublin. You guys, this dude flew all the way in from the cliffs of fucking Moor. Please welcome your native son, Ben Schwartz! <laughs> Really good cover, Jake. Yeah. Thanks, man. Kill Kenny reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me the name of the town. This is very exciting. Huh? Look how many people are here. Uh, by round of applause, how many people are from Dublin? Yeah. All right, that's not bad. And how bad is that copper place they went to yesterday? On a that's, scale, that's on a absolutely scale, absolutely unfair. I went there on Thursday. <laughs> And you said it was the best bar you've ever been to. <laughs> Honestly, it was. Oh, I could do my, <laughs> I could do my mic, I could do my mic stand work. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, do you yeah, got? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just I, I changed the mic stand the whole show for so it's like a little treat for us, but nobody else gets to do it. I love it. So like the podcast audience get, doesn't get to understand right. how much. Well, so what Ben's doing right now is fucking with the back home. Oh the yeah, oh. he's sort of churning the mic stand a little bit. Okay, oh. it's going up and down, and now he's sort oh. of fumbling around with the clip. See, it kills, it crushes. Wait, wait. <laughs> And that way, wait, wait, wait. This is how it really works. Okay. Okay, so this is... 
Yeah. Give Amir, give him a little bit of you space. Gotta oh, you got to intro me, and I'm going to be a comic that doesn't know that his microphone is way too big for the stand. Oh, that's good. Okay, intro me one more time. All intro right. Me one more time. Do we do the song again or just... No, 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 no. Just, just intro me out. Just okay. Me okay. Out. Uh, <laughs> ladies Guys, and... just fucking intro me. I was... Christ. Okay. <clears throat> he was just getting started. Hey, every, all right, ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Ben Schwartz. <laughs> How is everybody? Everybody good? Good? Uh, um, the mic won't fit into the clip. <laughs> Oh, wait, a face. <laughs> oh. Do you want to do it again? Dude, no joke. No joke. That sketch was directed by M. Night Shyamalan. What? That, that was the twist, y'all. That expected. was the motherfucking twist. The twist Perfect was that the fit. bit fit? Yeah, and I've been dead the whole time. What? I've been bred. I've been bred the whole time. I'm actually not offended he got a bigger applause than us. I really don't care. I did not. You guys got a great yeah, applause. That no, was fine. It. it was nice. It's, uh, you shouldn't, like, the fact that you even brought it up, it, everyone knows it's pretty that you're thinking about it. Yeah. Dude, like, honestly, your head. when you guys got the applause, I was like, oh, that, that's cute. Can't wait yeah. till I get out there. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. really? laughs> that's cute. That's cute. I that's saw cute. you whisper over to the stage manager, 7 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, you saw said, him whisper, watch an 11. I went, yeah. Ear. The second before your announcement, I go, watch this. You tried to kiss her, but you backed off a little bit. I did try to kiss her. And she said, we don't do that here. I go, we don't do it in America either. I just <laughs> went for it. I just, a big fucking swing. Yeah. A big swing. A big hurly swing. Yeah. Guys, uh, listen, I'm get, this is real. This is in a bit. I lived in Kilkenny for three months when I was in a university, and I studied sport there. So I, like, studied Gaelic football and uh, hurly. This is a real thing. Uh, and all that stuff. So I love this country very, very much. Yes. And me and Amir uh, think it's all right. Yeah, it's decent. And man, if I could tell you the shit that Jake and Amir were saying backstage, <laughs> and I said, I'm going to defend this country to the death. mostly about Northern Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> really? Fuck Belfast. <laughs> Fuck Scotland. I know it's not part of Northern Ireland, this but it's a different insane. country. This Fuck is insane. Fuck Iceland. Anyone that's it's sort of different from us, similar. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Different sucks. Different no, sucks. No, no, no. Different no. sucks. No. Different no. sucks. Guys, we are the one. Welcome to the stage, Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald. No, 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 no. If different didn't suck, then why would you be you? What? You're the best because that's who you are. You're literally saying lines from Lonely and Horny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, man. <laughs> uh, who was the first person to buy Lonely and Horny? Ben Schwartz's uncle. No joke, uncle. I was the very first person. <laughs> Number one purchase. All right, Ben, and do you want to... who was the first person to give it a bad Yelp review? <laughs> also you, brother. Yeah, baby. And who was the first person to submit it as a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> you best start believing in ghost, ghost stories. stories. <laughs> You're in one. Uh, do Guys, I, I say... Okay. I say... We, <laughs> fuck you. Wow. It was the Pirates of the Caribbean reference? <laughs> what do you hate, Pirates of the Caribbean? Sure, the second and third ones were a little not great, wow. but the first one... shit. Orlando Bloom's a hero, brother. Yes, indeed he is. Uh, do you want to get to himself. a question? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you get that's not how shows work, right? <laughs> the host is usually not also the bartender. Is this I do, somebody... Like, I want, I like do you know this tip, person? To be honest with I you. don't. We gave him a little drink earlier, and you know what they say, give a mouse an inch, and he'll take a bard. I'm almost certain that's not how it goes. <laughs> um, all right, so in this podcast, you guys ask questions. That's right. Yeah. Before you well, ask questions, actually... oh, can sure, I ask yeah. you a question? Absolutely. Sure. Um, uh, what, what is your, what's your favorite part about Ireland so far since you've been here? Oh, you know what? So far, it's really been the people, specifically Lee, who had wow. to pee. You're actually one of the worst people I've ever met. <laughs> I'm you're, learning, you're learning, too. you're learning, you're learning, you're learning. I hate myself and I hate you. It should feel... Puts you in a company of two, brother. Your Irish accent is so strong right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Can the I drunker I get, the better, better. Oh, the better it gets, my friend. You, can the you, better it could gets, you, <laughs> Could you imagine uh, going to someone here who has a very thick, let's say Cork accent, really thick accent, and then comes to America and pretends to do an American accent and how much you would hate that? Oh, I would hate it a ton. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Peter. I would hate her. 
and wager a potato. He's back, baby! Yes, oh, dude! Yeah. Back to the Pirates of the Caribbean shit that we Man, were how good is Pirates uh, of the Caribbean? Where has the rum gone? Where has the rum gone? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's hit a question. Let's sure. hit a question. Um, Thank you guys for having me. Happy your to be phone here. ring? Do you want me to grab it? Don't be sorry. <laughs> Throw your phone away. <laughs> who by, I don't want to hear right now, but who by uh, hands up thinks they have the most, the weirdest ringtone? <laughs> all right. And okay. who's always mostly on vibrate? <laughs> Jake, Jake likes to say things to include everybody. I say the thing that makes no sense, and Jake is like, yeah, but like, who here breathes air and blows out carbon dioxide? <laughs> A tree, sad tree, walks away. You take advantage of me. Groot, Groot goes, I am Groot, and leaves. It's a weird reference, guys. Let's hit a commercial break. Me undies, the most comfortable underwear. They're made of modal. This person needs a name, and I know usually people... They, they usually shout names, Mickey, but we do have somebody on stage who's very good at coming up with names. Actually... If, if I can guide you in any way, this person has a very normal name. Yeah. Oh, a really normal name? Yeah. Super normal. You want to know? You want to know that guy's name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, that guy probably has a very normal name. Well, let's just. Yeah. I guess probably, let's hear the name. Uh, is there, is a guy you've never met before? <laughs> um, this guy's name and just is anything quickly though. Yeah. No. No. I'm very good at making names. <laughs> yeah. I know you're good, uh, especially yeah. if it's normal. Uh, I have his name in my head right now. <laughs> All right. Um, it's a very uh, normal name. You have it in your head, but you haven't said it. So. First name goes a little something <laughs> like... Like it rhymes with this, or it actually is No, this? I'll, here it comes. <laughs> um, you should uh, just be able to say the name if it's a normal sure, name. Sure, okay. We'll so just be quiet and you'll say it. This guy's name is uh, Sturlp. Uh, Sturlp. S-T-U-R-L-P. Sturlp. Okay. Sturlp, yeah. Last name, a napkin. Oh! <laughs> La sorry. Still got it, baby. <laughs> they you... may take away your web series, <laughs> but they'll never take away my skills to think of terrible names. Did you say his last name was A Napkin? A Napkin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Like Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> yes, dude. American reference. Quite frankly, American dude. reference. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> Stay away from me. Da -da -da -da. American reference. Da -da -da. <laughs> Friends, Fraser, cheers. <laughs> I can't be drinking this out of the bottle. That's bad. No, you really should keep on doing it. Oh, I love it bad. so, much, already, so much, buddy. I'm already feeling warm. I know. That's, what, that's a good feeling, man. I do feel you guys, cold do, most of the do, time. Do you guys drink Jameson or it's like because it's here? Yeah. What do we I, think we about know you Smithics drink Jameson. Tail. You actually steal Jameson. You are Jameson. <laughs> this is Jameson. He oh, is a bottle Jameson. of a man. By the way. You're putting more light on him, which encourages him to talk more. Me? <laughs> <laughs> the audience is turning on you. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say, friends, Fraser Cheers was so fast. <laughs> yeah, I was so impressed by that. And people glossed over it. Wait, what happened? He I made three <laughs> American references very quickly. In the same way for me, he said, friends, Fraser's Cheers. Oh, wow. And it was really quick. Good on you, man. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Um, I had to borrow Jake's flannel, everybody. All right, let's get to the question. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys were at the show a couple days ago, I was wearing yeah. that shirt. Uh, I'm a high school senior guy with an outrageous bush in my butthole. <laughs> Sorry, let me read the question. Let me read the question now. I should oh, start read the, the question. question. Read yeah, the question. Yeah. That was just oh, wow. Weird. The question starts in the same way that I described myself. Oh, you have the same problem. I'm a high school senior guy with an outrageous bush in my butthole. Sometimes the hair pokes out when I'm standing normally. I hate doing this show. <laughs> because what are Wait, you doing? Wait one second. What are you talking it's about? It's about to get worse. We're helping people. We'll anyway, see. I want to get rid of it, but I don't know which method to use. If I shave it, it'll be prickly as a bat and annoy the shite out of me. If I use that nair shit, it might burn my balls and hurt my ass. True. What's funny? <laughs> That's objectively. I don't care who you are. A I burning was, ass? <laughs> we all have buttholes. I was thinking of layering it, but it sounds sketchy and expensive. What does layering mean? I don't know. I think the it's a typo. Have you seen Friends? <laughs> the Rachel. <laughs> My name is here as the Rachel. Hi, can I have the Rachel? Uh oh, not my oh, head no, hair. No. Oh no no no! <laughs> or down here. Not Watch my ball this. Hair. Uh, oh. As you can see, I'm in quite the quandary. What should I do to get rid of my butthole hair? Thank you, love. 
Sturlp Sturlp a napkin. Sturlp a napkin. Let's give it up for Sturlp a napkin. Um, what do you think, Jakey? Um, How would you get rid of a hairy butthole? Do you I, have a hairy butthole? Would you even know if you had a hairy butthole? Don't, do not put me on blast, okay? <laughs> I do not have a hairy butthole. I have a normally... There's a couple... There's some... Prove it! <laughs> Prove it! Oh, these guys don't want to see my anus. <laughs> yeah, we do. Let's see that oh. brown eye. I see my Started off with a kiss, I did it end up like ass. It was only your ass. It was only your ass. Completely hairless. Wow. Oh. You really leaving? Losing from that you highlight lost, of the show. You lost two women. <laughs> I don't know why you were just dead. Oh, they're high fiving at the end. They're so happy to leave. Straight was- to our tent where they will see my asshole later. <laughs> Um, all right, what, do you, what is your, what is your uh, answer for that? What's your how thoughts? would you get rid of asshole? I have some hair around the ass. I don't know if... I guess, how would you know if that's normal? I never look at other people's ass. When you wipe your ass, sometimes do you pull hair out? I'm going to let Jake take this one. <laughs> I... Do you feel hair when you're wiping your ass? Is it that close? I don't... How deep do you wipe your asshole? I go do all the way up to my throat. Or do you just use your hand? I use a twig. <laughs> And you feel hair through it? I hear hair through the twig. That is a very I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my... That's what's up. You gotta own it. So you just get assless chaps. <laughs> I would fucking the braid Willow it. Smith song. Yeah. Who's that fucking Avatar from Avatar, dude? You mean... Dude, four sequels. I four see sequels Sully? for Avatar they're making. Excuse me? They're making three more right now. Whoa, no more insider secrets. <laughs> I know you're buddies with James, but you can't leak that shit before it gets on deadline. So I'll braid it down like a little ponytail. I would dread it. I, cause you know, I would dread that answer. I would dread to answer. I, I mean, because you wear a dreadlock, you know, oh, you don't really wash it very often. Of course. So that's kind of, oh, did you really, oh? What's gross about an unwashed butt? You guys are so square here in Ireland. Uh, by round of applause, how many of you guys use the bidets here? There's bidets here? Exactly. All right. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in London right now. When I'm in London, I like look at the bidet and have no fucking idea what to do. That was really? your sink. That was a sink. Oh. Oh, I took a Actually, shit in my sink. By the way, that was a water fountain. That yeah, was yeah. a water fountain. And it was right out there. Public mall. Yeah, there was, a, there was a series of geese that were looking at me like, <laughs> what a is going on? A series of geese. Yeah. A series How many is in geese. a series? Probably seven. Seven geese in a, seven series. a series. Yeah. What is a lot of geese called? A flock of geese? Gaggle. Gaggle of geese. This is good. Okay, good. What are, what are a lot of lions called? Pride. Pride. Okay, this is, why don't you let the audience fucking answer? What are, uh, what are uh, a lot Gaggle. of... What are a lot of ducks called? Oh, um, uh, uh, oh of course, a, a duck. <laughs> oh, yeah, a the duck, duck ducks. A duck of ducks, a maybe. Duck. <laughs> so you you know what? think that Irish people speak like pirates. <laughs> Is there a difference? Uh, yes, I, a huge difference. Prove me wrong, mate. <laughs> uh, imagine, if you will, a rainforest. I'm you're walking by. You're a machete. Right, everybody close their eyes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm thirsty. It's humid in here. Okay. Suddenly you pull apart a thicket. You peer in and see, oh my gosh, a lagoon, a clear water lagoon, a desert oasis in the middle of the forest. Okay. That's what my ass feels like. <laughs> Pan out so much, you reveal that thicket was my ass hair, but the butt oh. itself is very clean. Blue water, as clear as night. That's what it feels like. I feel like I have hair around the anus, but once you get to the different skin, the little brown wrinkly eye... That's as clean oh as Oh my can god, be. we are learning so much about Amir's asshole. Do you think this guy has I a just hairy wanna, I, eye? Just, I feel compelled to say, keep recording. I know your, your hand is hovering <laughs> over whatever button there is to, to shut him off, but just keep it going. He's, he's about to strike gold. Do you think this guy with a hairy butthole means he has hair on his sphincter or just the same hair that I have around the butthole? You mean you think he has hair inside his anus? I think that's what he means. I think there's a very decent chance that he just has a hairy ass. Yeah, I can't so. imagine he's somehow looked inside his own ass. Okay, so for the second question in a row, you know what I happens? thought about buttholes instead oh, yeah, of the yeah. actual What's thing. It, what happens? Do you know what happens when you, you look when you look inside your own asshole? No. You see your goddamn future. <gasps> oh, really? Yeah. And is it always bleak and 
Black. It's always bleached. It's always bleached. <laughs> oh, I wish that was the end of the show. <laughs> uh, all right, real quick, how would you get rid of ass hair if you happen to have a lot of ass hair? Fire it? Fire? So that's the worst idea. We'll work backwards from... Uh, <laughs> we'll go from worst to best. Li lighting your anus on fire, we'll say, is a zero out of ten. Uh, I would do just just a buzzer, just around the. Don't get too close. To no, the that's hole. correct. That's correct. He has the right answer. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you for saying no. Would so you like, give it a two? A two faded up to a four. <laughs> uh, I, so it looks like an Irish football you get fan. Something like something like etched into the side. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, like like Anthony Mason, yeah. an artificial part. Yeah. Oh, like the two lines. I think that's the correct answer. Or if you want to get real crazy with it, you can get like a Mach three and just cross your fingers, right? Oh. Oh, that's a not <laughs> while you're doing it though. I always said that when you shave your like when uh, when you shave your asshole and you fart, it's like uh, firing a gun without a without a silencer. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up. Did that work? Because I'll tweet it. I, I like to say shit. things for the first time after I've said. I, I always, always say. say. <laughs> uh, I would call a place that does Brazilian bikini waxes and oh. sort of. I'll giggle, be like, <laughs> do you guys do guys' asses? <laughs> okay, do, it, do it, do it, do it. All right. Pretend I'm, so I'm, I'm a beautiful woman that works at a Brazilian place. Awesome. Okay, so right. first come in and remember, I'm fucking, I'm not, I'm so good. Am I on the phone or I walk in? You, how you would ever walk into a Brazilian place. All right, go. <laughs> All right. So I'm, the, I'm, I'm just hanging out. I'm texting someone. Okay, so am I calling in or am I? You're, I you're walking in. Of course. I'll, can I do a sound of the door? And yeah, of be, course. Okay, cool. Let's do like bells that are on yeah. top of the door. I, I don't know. Rampy ding. <laughs> okay, so that was the, I was thinking of little jingly bells. I, I gotta get that. Okay, well, I was just doing a little bit of a creaky door. All right, so ready, creaky door, jingly bells. Do you want to do creaky or no creaky? Creaky Banner, door. Good? And the store is closed. Oh! <laughs> you want to wait till the next day? Yeah, let's wait. Nine a.m. the next day. I've Can unlocked the door. At nighttime. But now a fucking ugly dude no! is there. <laughs> no, same beautiful. Oh woman. yes, thank God. Same uh, beautiful woman. No, it's still a ding jingly. <laughs> jingly dingly. Oh, that's good. Uh, hey. Oh, sorry. What's your name? How can I help you? <laughs> you have an awesome American voice. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, you wax pussies? Um, <laughs> we don't like to call it that. Oh, thank we you. Manicure people, we manicure people's bodies so they feel more confident in themselves. That's awesome. Yeah. So, what I have is a thicket of hair, a pubic hair, coarse, curly pubes inside and around my anus. That's my butthole, my brown eye, where I shit out of. And I was wondering, what would the policy slash monetary compensation be if you were to wax that thicket, mow it down like a Brazilian, no offense, rainforest, <laughs> and make me shiny and pure as Michelangelo's David uh, in the back? I am so sorry. I had my <laughs> iPhone in. I was, I was listening to music. What did uh, you say? Start I was saying, is this, a, is this hey, a... how are you? Is this a pizza restaurant? Uh, no, this isn't a pizza restaurant. This I was looking for a half pepperoni, half cheese, garlic oh, no, bread, and a Greek salad. Any. Never mind. Take All right, let's get, here, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. My God. Too bad that guy didn't ask me to shave his ass or I would have fucked him. <laughs> oh, no! Let's ask another American question. American reference. Don't let you be. Can you do it again? I can do many, of course. Wow. I'm from the country. American reference. Guys, come on. Let's Sorry. ask a question. <laughs> One more question? No, two more? Whatever. No, Let's do another question. When are they going to kick us out of this tent? Is yeah, anybody... yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Who's not having fun? Me. <laughs> I'm Sherry Fitzgerald. You raised both of your hands. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Giggity, giggity. That's Quagmire. He's from Ireland. American rap friends. Uh, <laughs> All right. Another guy's name? Another guy's name. Is it a total normal name? Totally normal. Here we come, baby. <laughs> Jerfrey. Jerfrey. J-E-R-R-F-P-H-R-I-E. -E. Jerfrey. Jerfrey. Everything's different. Jerfrey. Everything's the worst one about that. Jerfrey Pinball. P-I-N-B-U-L-L. Pinball. Yeah. Fair enough. Right. Hi, guys. Longtime fan. I feel like I could use some help trying to convince my GF of five years to do something a little on the His weird Is gluten-free? <laughs> American reference! <laughs> no, that's here. We went to a restaurant with a lot of GFs. This is so weird. This question is also about a butt. Is it really? Yeah. What are you, you doing? If it... There might have... I, whatever. I, I might have Game I, Boyed I, like some, some type of butt thing. 
Is what does Game, Game Boy, Boy mean? Well, the Game Boy is uh, he he was at the apartment and he was searching for uh, silly words, I suppose. Wait, what? What is Game Boy? He's a character that sometimes stops by. <laughs> oh, here. I would be embarrassed to do it in front of Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who wants to see Game Boy? <laughs> oh. And Jake is Jake is, Jake is no joke blushing. He's yeah. really nervous. Ben's a very successful, uh, funny friend of mine. But and, wait, uh, I've never I've never even heard of Game Boy. Yeah, no, not a lot of people have. And all right, let me hear him. Let me hear him. Can I be in a scene with him or no? Like a silly. Oh, sh- I don't know. I with I um. Oh, you're really nervous. I'm quite timid. I'm quite timid about it. Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's do a little Game Boy, I suppose. <laughs> There's not really anything that he does. Nobody You're like either. a shy kid who like who practices all day long, and their parents are like play. I'm like, no, whatever. It's oh, fucking... come on, Jake, tell your joke. No, it's fucking Move gay, on. dude. Like, whatever. <laughs> so dumb, dude. <laughs> like, you won't even like it. I hate it. <laughs> do Game Boy. I'll tell my favorite joke of all time if you do Game Boy. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, so in, in comparison, he'll be really funny. <laughs> when he hey, if you do your <laughs> shitty weird character, I'll be great. Do, hey Jake, do your dumb fucking do voice thing, yeah. thing. <laughs> and I'll do. After years of listening to comedy, I'll do the best joke I've ever heard. <laughs> um, actually, do it, friends Fraser cheers again. <laughs> I want to. I do want to hear it. I do okay, well hear. I'll do Game Boy and I'll ask you to hear the joke. Is that fine? No, no, no I want to hear Game Boy. Okay. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Game Boy. The Game Boy wears his hat in a weird way. Wait, wait, wait. Way. Let the girls get back to their seats. They're gonna want to see this. Hey, ladies. My Mercedes. Game Boy. All right, here we go. Game Boy. Here we go. <laughs> oh, he's here. You'll yeah. Never believe. All right, Jake. You know I mean? <laughs> Have you ever felt this shame? <laughs> there is no. Co- this- hey, everybody, take out your phones and Snapchat this. <laughs> I want everybody in this room to take out your phones and Snapchat the next ten seconds of the show. Everybody. Whether you have Snapchat, yes, I want to see every phone. You can Instagram it too if you oh, want. Oh, absolutely. Whether you have a video feature, hashtag a Snapchat. Hashtag Game Boy and hashtag Best I'm only Night of My Life. half the phones. We'll take the time. Yes, yeah, more phones. Oh, all the phones. More phones. That's good. Absolutely. All right, Couple. let's see. Let's sure. see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present all right, to you. All right, don't start it yet. We'll oh, do sorry. a three, two, one, and then we'll press play. Okay. Okay. Ready? Can you shut off your flash real quick? <laughs> no, no, leave it on. <laughs> all right, ready? Three, two, one. Record. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. I am the Game Boy. I've he- I- I- I've come here on stage. I'm ready to play my games. Yeah, let's go for the Game Boy. That was not easy. I'm really proud of you for doing that. <laughs> I blacked out. Beth loves it. What is he? Ha- what is he doing? He, uh, I don't know anything more about him than I knew two seconds ago. <laughs> oh, you don't know that he's always coming? <laughs> no. Yeah, right. that's his voice. He's the guy who's always on the precipice orgasm. of an orgasm. And, uh, hey, oh, hey, I am a Game Boy. The world's exciting to the Game Boy. What's your <laughs> best joke of all time? I didn't write it. It's not my joke. I can't take credit for it. I think it's a, j- a joke that's been around a very long time. Um, but I think this audience is perfect for it. All right, ready? Um, two, two whales go into a bar. The first whale says, The other whale says, Charlie, you're fucking hammered. I don't know. I can't give credit. I think it's a joke. It's been around a long time. But I actually I know it. the long version of that. I won't do it. <laughs> I won't do it. American Netflix. <laughs> That's good. All right. Uh, I already forget the guy, I Cinnamon the Toast Crunch Face, whoever the fuck you come up with his shitty ass names. Uh, it's, an a- uh, it's the one about assholes. What? Isn't it about assholes? Yeah, I was just saying the name. Oh, oh, I don't remember. Does anybody remember what the name was? Jeffrey. Oh yes, thank you so much. Wait, we haven't read the question yet. Jeffrey. Yeah. 
Pinball. <laughs> Good memory. Jeffrey Pinball. Oh, I, I'm so happy. like he came up with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's funnier to have someone else say it back to you. Is that how funny I am? No. That's it's pretty just, good. I know I, I have fans. Imagine anybody saying pimble to you. <laughs> that has nothing to do with me making it. All right. Jer- Jerfery. When I upload pimble. the podcast, I'm going to cut from you saying the name to you cracking up saying. <laughs> Imagine somebody saying that to you. It could happen to you. <laughs> All right. Jeffrey writes. Hi, guys. Longtime fans. And I feel like I could use some help trying to convince my GF of five years to do something a little on the weird side. Oh, God. I've developed a weird obsession with her butt. Huh? This episode's called Butt. What is that? What's that? You don't know about the pinch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, 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 sorry. I, I have a Snapchat, uh, Snapchat for this reason. Happening. But I guess I don't know what it means. I'll save it for a bit. I'll save it for a bit. All, right, here we go. Uh, all I can think about is her sweet, perfect, plump ass all day long. I literally have dreams where I'm rubbing things like oil and honey on it. The other day, I actually had a dream where I rubbed her famous cupcakes all over her ass and licked them off. Anyways, I want her to sit on my face, and I just smother me with her ass until I tap out. I want a front row seat of that chocolate starfish. The one time what I... What is this show? It's just porno now. The it's like t- fan fiction for your real show. And real fiction for my fan show. <laughs> Look at this fucking whiskey. I fucking love this, baller, dude. Yes, dude. dude. I have a, a sponsorship of Jameson. I have to take like a little bit every time. Uh, finish half the bottle, mate. The entire bottle. Ben would die. That's literally asking me to kill myself. Will you, ta- will you fill this up, though? Will you fill this up for Jakey? Just oh, we're out. I'm so sorry we don't have any more. Really? Yeah. You downed it. The one time I suggested it, she kind of laughed it off as if I was joking. So, how do I approach the situation? I don't want her to think I'm weird, and I know she's squeaky clean back there because I've snuck a few whiffs while we've been doing the deed. Please advise. Thank you. Love? Uh, Jeffrey Pimble. Jeffrey Pimble. Jeffrey Pimble. You want some ice, buddy? My hands are very Oh, cool. You guys get ice? I couldn't fit a cube. Wait, I missed I missed the middle of it because I was. He wants to eat and smear shit on her ass, and it's his girlfriend of five years. No, sorry, cupcakes, cupcakes, oil and honey. (laughs) Not Not her ass. Cupcakes, oil and honey. Not her asshole. Her ass. Her ass. Well, he does want to put. He wants her asshole on his face. Uh, he wants her to sit on his her butt on his face. I put your ass on my my face. face. I I put put your your ass on my face. face. (laughs) I put your ass. What a sweet thing because it's, they've been dating for five years. This isn't some pervy guy who wants to do it to no, a barista. It's, gorgeous. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. I it's, don't think. I mean, celebrate well, okay. yourself. I don't understand the fetish of uh, putting cupcakes on it. And also, why wants, are her cupcakes famous? Who is this? The, is this Mrs. Fields. This is it's Mrs. Mrs. Fields. Fields. Yeah. The American that reference. reference. <laughs> what is the fam- Is there a, a famous cookie that has a woman's name on it here or no? Mrs. Fields is as good as we're gonna get. What is it? All right, and also, what's your favorite type of biscuit? Because I've heard a lot of weird ones. What's your favorite biscuit if I'm going to get, uh, like, biscuits here? Rich tea. Rich tea? Rich tea is my biscuits. (laughs) Have a biscuit. It was a big biscuit who yelled that at me. (laughs) She was dunking herself in tea. Um, Okay, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, So this guy wants to smear oil, honey, and cupcakes, make some sort of weird concoction on his girlfriend's big, beautiful chocolate ass. Mm. He wants her to sit on his face. They've been dating for five years. Is it embarrassing to ask her of that? I think he could probably do it. After five years, I'm sure you've you've done everything that you you, like. You have a close enough relationship where you could probably say things like that. I've had a close enough relationship after 20 or 30 minutes where I've said stuff like that. (laughs) What's the weirdest thing you've said to someone on the first time hooking up with them? Truly, I'm asking you as a, as a friend. I don't say Pretend it. 300 very, people I'm here. very silent. I am a you're shy a, little boy. You're a little serpent assassin. <laughs> <laughs> I just do things that are really, really foul. Well, I think they're hot, and, I, and I'll stand by that opinion, actually. I think that this person can ask, but I wouldn't go as crazy as cupcakes right off the bat. Yeah, start with something. Start off with oil or something. 
I don't think cupcakes is the be all end all. I think cupcakes is what he thinks about, but he's really just thinking about her ass. What he wants is that's great. That's beautiful. His tongue inside of her ass. Oh, I didn't know we're going that there that yeah, quick. No, he wants her to sit on his face till he can he, till he almost asphyxiates he's and taps, taps out. out like a wrestler. And even then, like just like give me two more seconds after the tap out. <laughs> Pretend you don't feel it. Till for I a think second. I till I think I'm going to Valhalla, which is in the tippy top of your anus. I want to be wily e. coyote <laughs> under an anvil. I want to be gone. Completely completely desperate and dead mm -hmm. do you like you like asses but would you want somebody to sit on your face <laughs> it, you literally ask that question like someone who really wants it <laughs> you're like that's crazy but like do you find it crazy this is another thing I, to anyone else this is also me at coppers <laughs> I'm afraid of coppers. I'm afraid of coppers. Ben didn't go to coppers. I think I, well, we should I, go to To be coppers. fair, I wasn't here yet. I didn't come Are to you, yesterday. You're booing coppers? No. Just to be clear, you're booing, which means you have been to coppers, right? And you formed an opinion? I. It's, it's, it's shit? Does that mean you went to coppers and you're the one person that couldn't get laid when you left? Oh, shit! Oh, yes, dude! Yes, dude! Oh, Sit on my yeah. face, bro! What? I want to taste your ass, man. Whoa, whoa, Jake, 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 yeah. Jake. The last part, what you were saying? What was over thunderous applause? No, 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 no. You literally. Everyone was cheering, and no, I was like, you, "Fuck you, no, man." Well, Whatever, me, like, be quiet. No, sit down. No, no, no. You yeah. literally said, "I got you, dude. Sit on my face. No, lick no. my beautiful everyone asshole." Everyone was applauding so loud they didn't hear anything. Oh, okay. Saying, well, it'll it be was... on the podcast because we have mics. So. No. Oh. But yeah, they're okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that music playing? Because we have to leave. What time does the show end? We started at 4.30, but fuck it. I'll drag these microphones outside and we'll continue for another two and a half. <laughs> to uh, be fair, the speakers don't work that far. <laughs> uh, how much time do we have? Anybody? <laughs> did he say shut up? Yeah, he, was, he, he didn't want anybody to... That's the to... mayor of Dublin. <laughs> No, I assume that was a positive shut up, right? Yeah. yeah like, yeah. don't nobody tell him how much time he has. <laughs> huh? Sure enough? Sure enough. Good on you. You're That's, fine. I got it wrong. What is it? It said just keep going. Everything here is more relaxed. We're fine. It's grand. Okay, we have 10 minutes. Ten Never minutes. mind. 10, ten minutes. more minutes. <laughs> Calm down. Don't worry about it. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> We're all having the... fun as long as it ends in 600 seconds. <gasps> Dare we answer a question that's not about asses? We'll see if we can have we one. We have 10 minutes. Did we answer that question? No, but you're good. It's fine. Yeah, I tell, yeah, I tell that guy to, to go for it and take it in steps and see how it goes. Yeah, I agree. Ask you your start, partner. You start at the, at the cheek. You bite a cheek and then you work your way in. Oh, you know what? I was going to say start ingredient by ingredient. You rub flour on her ass. Oh, things are getting a little hot. No, you preheat no, the ass. This no, 175. No, 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 Suddenly no. you're rubbing. Oh, I cracked an no, egg. The Ooh, things are getting hot. cheeky. Pun to. intended. No, pun intended. No, no. A little sugar, some icing. You no, have the fucking... No. What's the icing cake? You're focused cake more on actually making the cupcakes than you are getting anyone <laughs> on. Oh, we're talking about asses again? Yeah. Want... Guys, for just one second, imagine that this mic's in as a bird and watch how funny this is. Ready? <laughs> wait, what's that? This mic's a bird. Ready? Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. No, so for a second. Uh, Jake, Jake, say that you have a cracker. Uh, oh, um, by the way, I don't know if you guys care. I have a cracker. <laughs> Oh, not good for the podcast listeners. <laughs> That's the theme of this episode. Doesn't it look like it's silently judging all of you? Man, my fucking prop work is on fire today. One last guy's name. One last guy's name, obviously. Jan McCool? Sure. Yeah? yeah. Fionn McCool? Yeah. Fun Michael? Yeah. Fionn McCool. I said it. <laughs> yes, dude. How crazy is it that Ben's in Dublin? It is very weird. Yeah, it's exciting for me, man. Yeah. It is kind of it's kind of insane. That was yeah. a quick that was a very quick decision. Yeah, insane coincidence. Yeah. I did it because of you, you booked guys. Booked your ticket like 4 days ago. Yeah, I bought my ticket 3 days ago. Jesus Christ. By uh, the way, I'm going to have to borrow 200 bucks. <laughs> We're passing Ryan around Ryanair gets real expensive if you book it. Ryanair is all about, oh, we're so cheap up until a week before. Yeah. Then we'll rip you the fuck off. And I dare you to bring a fucking bag. I fucking, I dare you to bring any bag that's not your backpack. I dare you. 
What's in your wallet? <laughs> no, American wrong. reference. No, Sorry. Dude. Aer Lingus, 24-7, 365. <laughs> I'm almost 20 years old, writes Fun Michael. And my parents are still signing me up to do shit without running it by me first. In fact, I think it's gotten worse over the past few months. They'll sign me up to do something within a uh, wait a week, and then within hours of it, tell me uh, and leave me no choice but to do it. For example, my dad signed me up to play tennis with his tennis group because they didn't have numbers. He told me like 20 minutes in advance that I was playing. I told him I couldn't and to stop signing me up for shit. But he explained that he had already told the other two players that I would fill in, which meant that if I pulled out, I'd look like a dickhead. So I agreed, only to find out when we arrived, they did indeed already have, quote, the numbers. And now there was one person too many. Seeing as they were all middle-aged men that played tennis every week together, I ended up sitting in the car for two and a half hours waiting for them to finish the game. As I write this email right now, I've just been informed that my cousin will be coming over in a couple of minutes. And then I'm giving her an art lesson. <laughs> which they just told me I were planning on making a weekly thing. Don't get me wrong. Some of the things they signed me up for are pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever I, I my fucking mom and dad. <laughs> but whenever I remind them, they say that I should, quote, take one for the team. I have these commitments that they have made on my behalf. Meanwhile, my dad's sleeping in every morning and watching Netflix all day. What should I do? Should I just refuse to do something next time they have given me a heads up? Or should I make it a rule that they have to give me at least a day in advance notice? P.S. How do I eat an asshole? Just kidding about that, previous. Uh, the end. Love, I don't know, fun, Michael. It's late. Oh, wait, never mind. It's 6.03 p.m. <laughs> Shit, I'm wasted, and the sun is out for another four and a half hours. Let's give it up for fun, Michael. You ever experienced this? You ever parents ever sign you up for stuff you didn't want to do, and then you ended up either regretting it or loving it later? Uh, when I was a kid, they 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 signed me up for little league all the time. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're talking. You're, straight you're up fine, talk. dude. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You did it. You're great. Give this you're guy a microphone. Oh, I'm serious. <laughs> He's actually really funny too. <laughs> Are you having a great time? I love listening. <laughs> um, I got signed up for baseball and I didn't want to at all. And ever. I remember ever. And you always did it. No, I did it for a little bit. Anyway, DMX is here. I gotta go. <laughs> Stop. Uh, meet me outside. Meet Shut me outside. Up. That's good. That's better. That song came out here last year, by the way. DMX um, is dead. <laughs> oh come on. Oh, we went to a coffee shop and they played the full album of Alanis Morissette. <laughs> they don't played... act like you're indated. <laughs> Um, no, but then um, uh, I, I was home. I like cartoons a lot, and I was watching cartoons. I was like, I don't want to go anymore, and he let me stop, and it was a, it was a great wow. moment for me. What about you? You ever get signed up for shit you didn't want to do? Yeah, I was uh, for uh, soccer, or as you guys call it, soccer. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing that you call it the American real way to say shit. Thank you for Yeah, it's, it's hard because when you're a parent, you're like a 38-year-old person and you're like yeah I, well, my nine-year-old has to play oh yeah sports. well i was yeah i was six when i yeah. got signed up for soccer. but then when you're like nine you're like wait no I'm, I'm my own person i get to choose and pick and choose what i want to do but were, when you were nine you decided you were on your own yeah <laughs> i'm 30 and i barely decided recently <laughs> your parents still sign you up for taxes. guys we're doing a fucking show oh you're just talking to each other uh, this is therapy for me oh nice uh so at what age do you say fuck no what what age do your parents start listening to you this kid's how old did he say? 20? 20. 20 oh, years old. 20? His parents are still signing up. I have a numbers. quick conversation with him, right? He did. Oh, all right. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of zonked out in the middle of it. It was a really long email. <laughs> it's hard to be like, I don't want to give my cousin art lessons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, is he good at art? That's a question I might have. Hold on. Let me text him. Do you all guys right. have time? <laughs> is he qualified are you, to do that? comma, good at art? And by the way, he's not There's terrible no to be a He's there. not being asked to do terrible that was things. Yeah, he's thing. asked to wait in a car for two and a half hours while he's Potter Peter plays tennis for a few. He didn't have to wait in the car. You could have taken an Uber. He's a 20-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> if he's his own person, then he can get home. How about how do you guys like this rule? If you still live with your parents, you have to abide by their rules. If you live Ooh. by yourself, if you make enough money or you're a student. You sound like my fucking father. <laughs> do you like your father? Love your father. <laughs> my father. <laughs> my dad, hey, don't you say shit about him. <laughs> my dad is a... Uh, he's, he's a goddamn a, saint. No, my, dad, no he's a, my dad's a peanut. He's a walnut. <laughs> my dad is a cashew. My dad is... 
What does that mean? He's a legume. He's a fucking, my hey, dad he's is, a legume. He is a legume. He is a nothing. He is no one. He is my dad is not. He's a he, my dad is charcuterie. What is that? He's mean? not the cheese. He's not the meat. He's th- my dad is the board. Do you guys get that? He's the little my, cornichon pickle that they put in a ramekin that nobody eats on the charcuterie. My dad plate. is the ramekin, and you better not say another fucking word about my father. <laughs> Because so that's not your place at all. That's my flesh and that's my blood. I come from that man. I am that man's cop. That's our show, everybody. <laughs> what do you think about my father? He's a fucking goblin. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think you hate every daddy. I do not. Ben's uh, father is a hero. He is a hero. He's, He's Captain best. America. He you, is Captain America. Do you agree with my rule? If you live with your parents, you got to do their shit? I kind of do a little bit. You, don't, you should have some leeway as you get older, but you, they're still paying for your boarding and your food and everything, huh? Yeah, if they're paying for your shit, you got to do their shit. Well, you got to do your, some of the shit. you got to give your cousin art lessons because your cousin's a little fucking doofus that doesn't Dude, are you do okay? Art. I don't fucking like any of my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Andrew Dice With good reason. Right. Wow. Wow. Uh, Sorry, ben. my first girlfriend cheating on me with my family. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked all my cousins except for me. Uh, I want to uh, do one Snapchat for my Snapchat. That's a good idea. We, we're what... ending in two minutes. Why don't we end with a Snapchat? So, what, what can we do that would be fun for the whole audience to jump in on? Uh... Then now we all sing Oasis. <laughs> Someday you will find me coming in the landslide. Wait, I'll just do that. Champagne <laughs> Supernova. Champagne Supernova in the sky. Thanks so much for coming to the show, everybody. <laughs> And thanks to Ben for coming to Ireland. Thank you, guys. Oh, holy shit. We love you. And thanks to Jake. Appreciate and thanks it. to James for doing the audio. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Thank you, guys. That was a HeadGum Podcast.